Uh, this question is from uh, Paolo Zapatana. Uh-huh. Weirdest fan interaction, good or bad? When is it good or bad? No, uh, weirdest, weirdest fan, fan. interaction. Whether it was a good oh. experience or bad experience. I don't know. I, I gotta get. I gotta get my anecdotes ready. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Have you ever been attacked? Uh. Where you're on like stage, concerned. I had somebody not not where I was concerned. No, I had someone like jump up on stage and take a cigarette out of my mouth once. Ooh, <laughs> oh, no, don't do but that. I was, I'm generally kind of lost in the moment, and I was like not really aware. And so, as, as long as you know what I mean, I wasn't. Yeah, like, I didn't get pushed over, so it was just sort of the moment came and went. Um, do you get weirded out with, like, with with women and stuff after shows? Like, I'm sure people hit on you all the time. I mean, that must be no. And I was gonna say actually. The early days were a little different, and yeah. I think when you were you were kind of asking like when it when it happened, how was how did it feel? And the first tour where we were in a van, and every show was kind of like, oh my god, today sold out. And then you drive in the van next place, and oh my god, it sold out. Yeah, that was an amazing period of time. Right, that was a really really special moment. Uh, and back then, you know, you would go out to like a fan's house and to an, you know after parties with you know just your fans, and that that was a lot of fun. Oh and really my connected. god. Then you get to another kind of like level, and um, you know, it gets weird. Dudes run a lot of interference. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It also gets... so you don't. I don't know. I yeah, don't, I don't encounter a lot of girls hitting on me after shows now. Yeah, mm-hmm. I remember opening for Polly. Yeah, those were fun because he brought out just a wild back in the day. But my, I just as you get older, you have to just. I have the headline. I have to. You know what I mean? I w- woke up, I had to do press. It's just too much going on. I'm now, and also I don't cheat, so it's like, you know, I, mean, I have a beautiful woman home, you know? But, um, around. Yeah, She's but, but as a young man, when you first, when I first did live shows, yeah. mm-hmm. those are so good. They, they're so good stuff. I liked it. Yeah. How long do you go on the road when you go on the road? Well, I'll just do a weekend and like I'm going to Cincinnati yeah. this Cincinnati, weekend. Cincinnati, this weekend. Yeah. Two nights and I come home. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. I don't do cities like you guys do. That must be a fucking... Yeah. Hotel living is a is a thing, yeah. Two nights would be good. It'd be better. Why can't you guys do that? Though? Why can't you just do, you know, one weekend you do show, mm-hmm. two show to cities, then spend two weeks home, mm-hmm. and then do another weekend. It's you know, there's like economics. Okay. Because if you're gonna have all your team available right. for you, that's right. Then they can't take other work, you know. So you kind of gotta like cram it all in. As a comic, I go by myself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You imagine what they have to bring everything. Yeah. Right, you have a crew. Got a crew. Okay. Yeah.